Welcome again on Pharma Learners. In today's tutorial, I will discuss about one of the frequently asked interview questions on ICH stability guidelines. The question is, what is significant change in pharmaceutical stability testing? Or, can you explain what do you mean by significant changes? This is the one of the frequently asked question in the interview. So, let me first brief you about meaning of significant quickly. When, the effect of change is large enough to be important or, when it affects a situation to a noticeable degree is called, significant. During stability testing of drug product or, drug substances, when noticeable degree of changes occurs in its specification, is defined as significant change. According to ICHQ1E guideline, significant change for a drug product is defined as, the first one is, a 5% change in a say from its initial value, or, failure to meet the acceptance criteria for potency, when using biological or immunological procedures. Please do remember, this 5% change in a say is calculated as absolute change from the initial value. That means it should be changed directly plus or minus 5 from initial value. For example, if initial assay value is 99%, then the significant change will be 94%. That is 99 minus 5. And it will not be 5% of 99%. However, if a say is analyzed by biological method, in this case, any result below the acceptance criteria will be considered as significant change. Because biological methods have less accuracy and may produce fluctuated results. Now move on to second. Any degradation products exceeding its acceptance criterion. Now move on to third point. Failure to meet the acceptance criteria for appearance, physical attributes for example size, shape, color, phase separation, resuspendability for suspension which settles on storage, caking, hardness, etc. Functionality test of dose delivery system which may include dose delivery per actuation, syringeability, pressure, and seal integrity in case of pre-filled syringe. However, there are some changes in physical attributes may be expected under accelerated conditions. For example, softening of suppositories or melting of creams. Such changes are not considered as significant changes as suggested in ICH guidance. Fourth one is failure to meet the acceptance criterion for pH. And the fifth is failure to meet the acceptance criteria for dissolution for 12 dosage units. This is all about the significant changes. Now these are five key points which you need to remember about the significant changes. Thanks for watching this tutorial. We will meet again next week with one more new topic. If you still not subscribed this channel, please subscribe it and also hit the bell icon so that you will get the notification on my all tutorials. Please give thumbs up if you like this video and share it with your friends and colleagues. We will be happy if you share your feedback about this tutorial in comment box below. Also tell us on which topic you want to watch the next video. Please comment. Now, it's time to check your knowledge. So, please read the question carefully and give your answers in comment box below. Your time starts now.